students this video we are going to see about the principles of the quadrants here looking at the quadrant so first we can we need to know the imaginary planes so let's consider this as the vertical plane and this as the horizontal plane which is intersecting perpendicular to each other so like this we can imagine so here this can be considered as vertical plane and this can be considered as horizontal plane so for example if an object any one of the object which is located at this point this is the object we can name it as a now this area this quadrant we can say it as the first quadrant so in this first quadrant this point this object is above hp horizontal plane the value will be some value we can mention it as 20 mm or for 30 mm or 40 mm and here in front of vertical plane in front of vertical plane so this can be considered so this is the thing so here in the first quadrant the wording is very important it is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane now we can go for go to the second quadrant the same object b now it is located behind so this is in front means automatically this will come under behind and this is above same above so this is above and this is behind with some value now we can go to the third quadrant here for example we can have it as point c this point c is here we told it as above this is below value below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane so look at here this is the fourth quadrant so here we can consider d so for example d object it is below the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane so here there are some words one is in the for the first quadrant it is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane second quadrant behind the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane and for the third quadrant below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane and for the fourth quadrant in front of vertical plane and behind the uh, below the horizontal plane so this is the quadrants principles of quadrants here we can we have considered this point as an object so normally uh, in our uh, diagram for an university syllabus we used to have only the first quadrant part so the remaining all the things for understanding purpose we, all the objects will be considered under only the first quadrant so this is what we are going to see in the further problems so like uh, let us see for the uh, uh, thing now i have just made a small example for it so this is the quadrant shapes all the four quadrants have been there so here we, I can just place it at the bottom like this. So here this is a view and this view, this is a side view. This is a side view. I, I just tilting 90 degree and this is rotating in clockwise direction. It can rotate only in clockwise direction. It cannot move in this order. And here also this is all the same way the horizontal plane. Here this can move in 90 degree clockwise direction not like this. Okay. So this is our position. Now we are going to consider the first point okay first quarter here the object is now this object is above the horizontal how it is above this is above this is above the horizontal plane and in front how much it is in front some value will be given suppose this is the point means i am just going to project it here this point will the the shadow you can see it the shadow will be projecting at the bottom so here the point means the point will be projected at here and here the point means the point will be projected at here that is a front view so here we cannot see it directly so while seeing like this you can see the wave like this okay this is the front view portion the front view you can see it here and looking at the top view this is the top view portion so the top view you cannot see so you are just tilting it 90 degree clockwise so the same object will be projected here here there is a way that is the x y reference line uh, from this reference line how much it is above and how much it is in front it will be normally located here so this will be the two dimensionally we can plot it in your paper answer paper 
so that is what we are going to make it so there is no need to draw like this in your for your answer there is no need to draw like this this is only for your understanding purpose not for any other thank you